Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a little video on what these Alex Pies uh, that we have now to work with are gonna do for us in this class. Now, I've already talked about this in the actual lecture period that our class is broken up into two sections. One is the developmental math part, which is called Math 0214. Uh, the college level part is called Math 1314. Okay, but we're all consolidated within the homework platform Alex. All of those topics are going to be listed. For the first four weeks, we're going to be working on our pie, which you should have gotten a personalized pie after you completed your initial knowledge check. So you should see an output that looks like this. Depending on how well you did, you might have more of these topics covered. And if you maybe didn't remember uh, some topics from your last math class, that's perfectly okay. This is not here to penalize you. It's just to give you an honest assessment of where you're starting off this semester at. Not everybody's gonna be in the same place. Uh, some people might uh, do better. Some people might do a little bit worse, but we're gonna be working to sort of develop our skills and fill out this pie to hopefully get towards 100% completion of the pie, okay? So I just completed the knowledge check and that's what we're looking at now. Uh, the shaded part shows each slice, uh, sorry, the shaded part of each slice shows what you already know, what you've mastered based on your initial knowledge check. Okay. The gray area shows you how much you have left to learn in the developmental part of this class. Okay. So I'll go ahead and hit next. It congratulates you a bit for your goals. And it says that I've reached 80% progress of the entire Alex pie. Okay. So when you log into your homework and you're looking at the Alex homepage, this is what you're looking at. You have your own personalized pie. Again, yours is not going to be the same as your classmates. It will be different, tailored to what your strengths and what your weaknesses are. But any of this gray area here in your pie that you have uh, refers to any of the developmental topics that we still need to work on. And we're going to be given the next, uh, the first four weeks of class to master those topics and hopefully refresh ourselves, right? There might be a lot of stuff that we've forgotten since the last semester or a lot that we've forgotten since our last math class, whenever that was, okay? Uh, you can analyze the pie details here if you'd like to by clicking on different parts. It'll tell you how many uh, topics you've mastered, how many are remaining, right? If I click on the next section, this is the real numbers section. Uh, I've mastered 14 of those topics with zero remaining. So those are pretty much done. We move on to another one, linear equations and inequalities. I've mastered 16. It says that I have one topic remaining there, okay? Uh, you can also look at the pie details by clicking on this button down here that says Alex pie detail, okay? And this might help you uh, show you all of the topics that you're ready to learn, that is, that we still need to work on so that we can master them. Um, for instance, I might want to bump up this little skill here that's set at 71%. It says rational and radical expression. So I might want to go ahead and do that. There are two topics here that are my goal topics that I need to knock out. Okay. Um, what we can do then is sort of go back to the home page. Again, this is always where we're going to be starting off from. That's where we're going to be um, moving on from. Uh, over here, we have our homework assignments that we need to knock out. But the first things that you want to work on are, let's go ahead and look at the list of all of our assignments over here. Uh, you'll see all of your assignments listed here. At the bottom of your assignments list, you're going to see assignments that are already closed. Now, the reason why those assignments might be closed, at least the ones from your pie indicated by this icon here, is because based on your initial knowledge check, we've already got 100% of that complete. So that's why it's saying uh, Alex has acknowledged that you already have mastered that particular subject. We don't have to take care of it. Okay. Now, it says I've completed linear equations, evaluating expressions, order of operations, and distributed property. That's perfectly fine. Uh, my total initial knowledge check was at 89%. Um, but it looks like I could still do a little bit of mastering over here. Now, your goal is to get at least an 80% or better on these pie topics. Um, so what we can do is just click on, for example, simplifying ex exponents, right? Uh, that's at 92%. So we can go ahead and click on that. And then Alex will generate 
a set of lessons and questions that will help us better understand um, those topics. And we can go ahead and strengthen our pie and go from there. So here we go. We might need to rewrite an expression here without using a negative exponent. Uh, we'll have a lecture in class that sort of goes over this as needed. But, you know, if I maybe just made a mistake when I was doing the initial knowledge check and I need to go ahead and like say, okay, let's let's take care of this. Let's knock it out. I might go ahead and say, I kind of remember something about negative exponents. I'm going to write this as one over four. And then that n to the negative two power actually gets moved up to the top of my fraction as n to the second power. I might also remember that if I have a coefficient of one in front of a variable, I don't need it. So that's just a demonstration. Again, we haven't covered any material in class yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and check my answer here. It says that I'm correct. And so it gave me a point, right? And you see this up here, it says, excellent, keep going. One out of three instead of zero out of three. We can go ahead and continue to the next problem. And we need to rewrite the expression without using a negative exponent. So I'm just going to, without any explanation, go ahead and put in the correct answer here. That's going to be negative 3 over n to the fourth power. I'm going to check that. And it looks like I'm correct there. So it gave me two points because I scored two of those problems in a row, right? So that's really nice. It's kind of like a game. It doubled the points because I got two in a row correct. So now that I've gotten that taken care of, I can hit the next button and it just says some encouragement here, like keep it up. And then I can go ahead and continue to my path. Uh, continuing to your path goes to the next topic that you need to cover. But now if we go ahead and jump back to our home screen, it says that, well, maybe this little slice here, I've learned an additional one of these um, topics within that exponent polynomial expression and factoring pi topic. Okay, so within that slice, I learned a little bit more and I have four remaining. So we can just go back to our assignments over here and jump into the next pi topic here. We see that um, one of these other topics was added here. Right? Simplifying exponents was added here. We have that at 100% now. And we can just keep going from there. Simplifying radicals needs some adjustment. So again, we can start that lesson and then find all of the real roots of familiar. So it should be three, check. Forgot one of them, right? Negative three. There we go. So it's given us that option here. We can go to the next question. And let's say that I intentionally get this one wrong. Um, let's say that this should be uh, the real square roots of six, negative 64. I'm just going to put negative 8. Uh, I'm going to check that. I got that one wrong. And notice that it took some points away from me, right? So this is a really an adaptive uh, platform that if you're understanding consistently, you're going to be rewarded by getting double points if you get more than one problem in a row. But if you're just guessing, then, uh, and you get one right, and the next one you get wrong, it's going to penalize you for that. So again, you want to be really honest with yourself about learning this because it's going to adapt to you. Are you really learning the material or are you just sort of guessing your way through it? Because I guarantee you that guessing your way through it is not going to be a sustainable uh, long-term uh, strategy for you that's going to work out, okay? Let's go ahead and back up and let's say that there are no real square roots of that. And let's recheck our answer. And there we go. It gave us our point back. And we can just keep on moving from there. Find the real square roots of 16. Well, in my head, I know that they are four and we should have another one. Let's put comma negative four. So for positive numbers, we should have two unique square roots. And check that. And again, because I got two in a row that time, it gave me double the points. So it'll give me my encouragement there. And I am one topic away from reaching my module goal. So I'm going to go back to our home page. And you can see that this has gone up from 66 to uh, 67. Okay. Additionally, if we go back to our assignments, 
we can see there that uh, simplifying radicals has improved to 92%. So there's still one more topic. We have 11 out of 12 that we have to take care of um, or that we've taken care of 11 out of the 12. So there's one remaining in there. But as you knock those out and get these to 100%, they're going to be moved to the closed category because you have mastered that skill. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, we're going to be doing most of our stuff in the home here. And again, you can look at the left side panel here that tells you what assignments are up next, um, including those pie topics here. So make sure that you knock those out by the specified due dates. And if you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. I'll be here to support you in whatever you need.